so great that we get to connect with people and and share and exchange and shoot the breeze and I don't know what that means, shoot the breeze, but it sounds good. Shooting the breeze. <laughs> Shooting the breeze is a term where you're just going back and forth with someone and idling the time away. Gee, your, your, <laughs> your dialect just changed. You don't know what idling means? Idling? Idling the time. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's like the nothingness, like the... You know, when you shoot the breeze, you're just shooting the air. You shoot nothing. You yeah. shoot in the air. It's very violent, though. It doesn't seem relaxing at all to shoot no, the breeze. No, it's fun. <laughs> it's an ideal life when you've got oh, a yeah. moment to shoot the breeze with someone. With somebody. Hey, Jackie, you want to go shoot the breeze? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm going to come shoot the breeze with you. Is that? No. Oh. <laughs> I love you. Hey, I'm You know, every time you do like an American accent, you always sound like you're from like 1975. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, Come on, Jackie. Like Grady. Let's shoot the breeze. <laughs> like, well, I'm still learning, you know? Yeah, you don't have any of these references. Everybody thinks, you know, he just knows stuff, but he doesn't know anything about Bob the Jeffersons or Sanford and Son, none of that. Nope. Shooting the breeze. Everybody knows what shooting the breeze is. Yeah, what do they say in uh, Germany, like when you're relaxing, doing nothing? We machen überhaupt nichts. Wir liegen nur rum. What does that say? Translation? We don't do anything. We just lay around. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we're ready to do more than lay around today. We have fun with rapper Lil Jon. Celebrity chef Nadia G, who is with us today. Yes. And for my favorite show in the whole world, Ray Donovan. You guys watch Ray Donovan? Yeah. Incredible show. Actor Dash My Hawk is here. Yeah. Bunchy in the house. Uh, the Emmy nominations were announced. And the show Transparent actually received the nomination. Plus their... For uh, best comedy. Yes, and the best actor... Jeffrey Tambor was also. Yes, that's uh, great uh, news, yes. Yeah. And some other notables. We Viola Davis, Taraji P. Henson. Which is amazing because it's the first time two African American actresses were announced uh, in the same category. Yes, for outstanding actress in a lead drama, you know, in a drama. This is huge. Um, Empire, interestingly enough, did not get a Best Series nomination. I don't know why. Mm because you know that they broke all kinds of records and it's just incredible show. Um, but Game of Thrones, I am a Game of Thrones fan. Mm -hmm. 24 Good nominations. Wow. That's crazy. And what is that? That's my Game of Thrones position I'm taking in the house now. Help, please send help. <laughs> but you know, my, my, my good buddy Will Forte was nominated <laughs> as well for, um, Best comedic what? actor in uh, for uh, Last Man on Earth. Which my husband is also a co-star. That's right. You play a bad boy in that. With, well. with and all the girls love you. They, they're you know they say that women are biologically drawn to the bad boy. Why is that? Um. The Maybe. strongest sperm? Is that it? I, you know, you're, you know, you're laughing. But, you know, I think that's true. Like, it's the alpha male. Like, yeah. this is the guy yeah. that's going to yeah. protect me and the kids. I will protect you. <laughs> you know, but it's interesting. It's like, we don't want the bad guy in the relationship, though. Right? We might want him in the bedroom. You guys are hypocrites, <laughs> ladies. I think I found a nice combination. Of a bad boy and a good boy? Yeah, yeah. How am I good and how am I bad? You're good because you're good. You're a good person. And I'll take that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, your heart is good. Mm -hmm. 
you're bad, mm. and your your bad is good too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's dangerous. I like it. from the male point of view, why are men attract, women attracted to the, the broken guy, the damaged guy? Because the... they want to fix us. You guys want to fix, you like projects. We like projects. <laughs> right? Hmm, who am I going to fix today? <laughs> you just like projects. We like to rescue. Yeah. yeah and, and save, we do. Yeah, it's and, and a maternal then, you know, instinct, And we give in. We say, hey, okay. <laughs> and we just lean back, and that's it. <laughs> hey, Jackie, want to shoot the breeze? Ah! Well, you know, the key is to recognize the bad traits and then, you know. Phase and, them out. <laughs> no, I think we, we have to decide, we have to avoid them, you know, weigh your options. You know, you have to project into the future and say, is this somebody I want to leave my kids alone with? I, I believe, I believe that. <laughs> right? Think about how They're that like, changes hmm. things. You're out on a date and you're like, could I go to work and leave the kids home? <laughs> With, with the, the bad boy. With the daddy. With this is their daddy? No. The bad baby daddy. Yes. It's just the way we are. I mean, women have projects, and, and men just don't understand. And that's not the only thing men don't understand. Oh, really? Yeah, there are things that only women understand that men don't. Like what? When we, when we worry that if you let the guy pay, he'll, you know, expect something in return. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Yeah. You guys never go through that. Well, okay, so, all right. What I don't like about this is the sense of entitlement. Because for a guy, there's nothing worse when you go to the restaurant and the woman automatically expects you to pay. I don't see what's wrong with and, that. And I don't even want nothing from okay, you. Okay, you got three guys on your side. <laughs> That's my man right there. Who else got my back? Who else I'm got my back? I'm not paying for dinner. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not paying for dinner. I'm not. That's, you can't. No, okay. No. Wow. No. This is, wow. okay, this is very interesting to me because you ladies are hypocrites. Why? On the one hand, you're, you're, you're desperately holding on to the traditional values. Yes. And the, and the gender based. What? And then on the other hand, you say, I can open my own door. You pay for my dinner. What? Okay. <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Okay? Yes, we if can. If you want to hold on to tradi traditional, I can't even say it, to traditional values. When has a woman ever expected you to pay and you know? All the time. Give me one example. Like you yesterday. <laughs> I'm your wife. So what? What are you talking about? So what? Like before we you were married. You don't even leave the house with a before? wallet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have no connection about, to your wallet. What about before we were married? Before we were married. Was there any situation where you were in the dating scene, hanging out with girls? I'm sure you were like. It happens out with all Patrick. the time. Okay, I'll give you one. I'll give you one example. I was in Miami, my brother and myself, and it was before we were married. <laughs> I already don't like this my this story. We met a group of ladies that were sitting around a table having dinner. Coincidentally, we walked in that place. You didn't set this date no, up. No, it wasn't set up. It was it was six ladies and my brother knew two of them. Okay. So we walked in a restaurant. My brother goes, "Hey, look at that. Hey, what's up?" And we went over there and, did you and we sit sat down. down. We did didn't you pull even up set chairs down. to the no, table? No, no. We sat down on the next table, <laughs> turned our chairs around so we were closer to them, and we were just chatting away. Drinking water. Order, no. I didn't order anything. Your brother did not order a Coke. My, we already we had already eaten. Okay. So we went there, we sat down, had our water. 20 minutes later, we get up to leave. And one of the ladies gets up from the table, chases after us, and goes to me, um, we were thinking that maybe you could take care of the bill. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, are you okay. serious? No, That's what you the, get for the hanging sense out of with entitlement. That's what you get. <laughs> You know, love isn't always easy, so much so that a study found that most people only say I love you in a romantic way to only three people in their lives. Three people? Yeah. Oh, wow. How many people have you said I love you to? Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, just you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, you, women, women have their own way of counting past lovers with, like, temporary amnesia. You know, you make your own rules. Well, I don't some have stuff doesn't he count. He doesn't count. He doesn't count. That one. No. Well, he really didn't do it. Well, he didn't really take his clothes off. Well, that. that, that. Okay, you you have told me about a few people, but then you left out a lot. Like we went to New York. Okay, we went to oh New York one time. Went to a club at night, and uh, the doorman opens the velvet rope, spots my wife, and goes, "Ooh, hey, Nikki, love." <laughs> 
was like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Nikki Love? What is that Nikki Love? And then she, this one over here goes, hey, that's just a guy from, you know, from way back. Yeah. I was like, so I don't even, I don't even want to hear no, how many people. There was a study here. There was a study somewhere. Okay. It said that men are more likely to stay in touch with the former exers and women are less likely. You're, wait, let me get it right. There's a study here that says men are more likely to stay in touch with former partners than <clears throat> women. Right? And we're not likely to speak to our exes. You did us wrong, boom, bye. Right? Bye, Felicia. No, bye, Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you guys. No, 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 I'm going to interrupt you because you and the phone and the, and the, oh, oh my gosh, it's been so long, Boris, I haven't seen you. <laughs> yeah. When you were together with somebody, no. Just because you break up, you're not compatible we anymore. Doesn't mean that it's a bad person. I got a New York story real quick. We went to New York, and we were having dinner, the family, everybody, and the phone buzzed, and he was at the bathroom, so I kind of just looked. Oh, and then, oh, oh. Like, yeah. And it said, okay, from a supermodel that he used to date, gorgeous girl. She's uh, beautiful on the inside. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And she was like, oh my God, I heard you were in town. I miss you so much. There's so much to catch up on. How's life? And I was like. This is how she sounded? Yes. <laughs> Via text. And I picked up the phone and I said, I'm great. I'm here with the whole family. If you want to get together, Nicole and I and the kids would love to meet you for lunch. <laughs> She really did. I really did. Yeah. Love Boris. True story. <laughs> yeah. And then she told me like weeks later. <laughs> I don't think the girl ever texted back. No, never again. Never it was again. like six years See, ago. Ladies, I handled it, right? Sorry. That's, yeah, I handled it. We have to take a break. When we come back, we'll turn it up with Little Joe! What's up, it's your boy Lil John. This is my son, Young Slave. We're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. Yeah! Our first guest is a Grammy Award winning hip hop superstar and proof that you can have a hard edge in the industry while remaining a great dad. He's here today with his record spinning son who's following in his footsteps. Please help me welcome Lil John and his son, DJ Young Slave! Yeah! stuff right here okay yes to see a father and son share such a powerful medium like music together I just I'm really honored that you guys came here together thank today. you thank you guys thank you yeah. Yeah. so DJ Young Slade do you remember the moment that you wanted to do this yeah um my mom was sick and my dad um he just it was like hey come to this party with me I'm DJing tonight and so I think I was 11, so I was just like, oh, okay, okay let's do it. And so, it so wasn't yeah. a party, it was an award show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me set the record straight. Oh yeah. It was a skateboarding award show for uh, Trans World Skateboarding, and mm -hmm. afterwards they had like a little party in the back. Okay. So we went to the award show, yeah. and then. It was appropriate for you to yes. bring your kids. Yes. Yes. So it wasn't we a damn this. nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm a good dad. <laughs> Dad, that, that, that's hilarious. Now, you behind the party anthem, turned down for what? Yeah, I yeah. heard you. I heard Give it you. up. <laughs> yep, you heard me. But what, what I want to know, we, we talk, on this show, we talk a lot about perception and, right. and, and judging and, and discriminating based on first impressions and stuff. So right. we have a hip-hop superstar like you. Right. Okay. Who people perceive as a certain way. And you're out here with your son. And your son looks more like an Abercrombie and Fitch model. <laughs> than, than, he actually you know used to I mean? model. There you go. Yes, okay. Right. See, there you go. So, so what, what are some of the what are some of the perceptions you both 
get uh, from people, and how do you deal with it uh, uh, and maybe, you know, combat it? Or, Number one perception people have of me is that I'm always screaming! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> like this guy over here, he's screaming at yeah. me. This guy's screaming. I'm not always screaming, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay to say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, yeah. So people just yell at you to come All up All the time. <laughs> you look like in Target just and trying to buy it, some we can be, Yeah, I could be in the stall in the bathroom <laughs> and it, somewhere, and they just, yeah! I'm like, can I use the bathroom in peace, brother? You, so what you're, about you? You're little oh John now. What, yeah, what about you? I just get that I'm pretty chill. Yeah, I'm, I get the opposite. I don't know how people can get that from you. That's so weird. But you're Jonathan Smith at home. Yes. Yes, so there's no screaming and... No. Just some regular dad stuff. I just want to lay on the couch. Like, when I... Hey. When I come hey, up... Hey, brother. Hey, can't oh. we just... Please just lay on the couch? Yeah, sometimes when the family's not home, I yes. just sleep on the couch. I don't oh. even go to the bedroom. I just it's stay heaven. on the couch. Oh, my God. So, so... Uh, DJ Young Slade. Um... You becoming a DJ, uh, uh, how do you avoid the pitfalls of the, you know, the party, party scene, scene and, and Hollywood and... And the music industry. How do you stay focused? Because there's a lot of distractions out there. Yeah, just my parents just keeping me grounded, making sure I'm always staying in the right places, just keeping me, um, being strict. Ah. There you go. Ah. Well, wow. I, I, I so, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, yeah, so, you, you, you're not the party dad, you're the strict dad. Uh, well, you uh, yeah, play. I guess... I try, I try to be harder on him because I, as a producer and just the way I, I came up, I worked extra hard. So he's like naturally gifted. He's naturally talented. He started DJing at 11 years old. I don't know many 11-year-old wow. DJs. Mm -hmm. He graduated from Scratch Academy, what, 12 years old? Yeah. Like, so, I mean, he's naturally talented. So I have to kind of be harder on him because it's easy for him, Yeah. Wow. you know? Yeah. I heard you made a pact that you would never miss a birthday. Yeah. Um, Have you ever been faced with like a difficult choice of like, ooh. Yeah, when yeah, yeah, when yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah with Usher was, you know, Hot. number yep. one song of the, you know, 2004, I think. Um, and Usher was asked to come do Saturday Night Live. And he was like, yo, I got loot on board. Can you come? And I was like, ah, oh, I can't go. It's my Saturday son's Night birthday. Live. Saturday Ooh. Night Live. Yeah, well, that's a tough one. You know. That is so that's a tough one. But hey, that's that's incredible. I commend you for that. Thank you. Stick around because when we come back, Lil John and DJ Young Slade are gonna try really hard to beat Boris and I in a hip hop challenge. Cause we know stuff. <laughs> Fathers, Lil John and his son DJ Young Slade, and we're about to challenge them in a game of hip hop anonymous. That's right, we got this. <laughs> in order to be a world renowned hip hop artist like Lil John, it's important to have a unique stage name. Well, I want a stage name. What's your mind? Nicky Nick. Nicky Nick. Nicky Nick. What about me? Uh, Gobo. Gobo. Gobo and Nicky Nick about to take them down. <laughs> <laughs> We have nine other superstar faces who are missing their birth names. Yep, and the object will be to match the name with the proper face. We, we have will have 30 seconds, and the person with the most hip-hop artists matching their proper birth name wins. And the losing team will have to record a six-second Vine video complimenting the winning team. Is everyone ready to play? Yeah! yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, clearly, you stand over there, I'll do it. Uh, here are the results, let's see if we got this right. Number one. The brat is? The brat is Shantae Harris. Woo! 
We got that right? Let's see if you got that right. Yes. What about on the other side? Shante Harris. Okay, that's one point for you guys. Number two, Drake is Aubrey Graham. We got it right. Did they get it right? Did they get it right? They got you it got right. it right. We got it. We got it. Actually, we got it. Aubrey used to show up at the Soul Food set when he was 12 years old. He was one of the extras in the Soul Food set. Wow. That's right. Um, number three, Big Daddy Kane, Antonio Hardy. Uh. We don't. Hey! <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? Did they get it right? Oh, man. Oh, okay. That's one for you. Why can't we give some applause for that? <laughs> Okay, Queen Latifah, a.k.a. Dana? Dana Elaine Owens. We got that right. Amber! Oh, Amber! Oh, Amber! Yeah. Amber! Oh, Amber! Yeah. Okay. I was rushing, man. <laughs> hey, pressure. Okay, next, Wiz Khalifa is Cameron... Jabril. Jabril so you Thomas. Got that wrong. Yeah, so we, we, got, we got that wrong. Man. Yep. What about you? You have that right? We got that, we got got that, that right. Shot. We got that right. Okay, then we got... Uh, Iggy Azalea is... Amethyst Kelly, we got that. Amethyst Kelly, we got that right. So we got that it? wrong. Oh, oh got we got that wrong. Dana. Okay, 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 okay. And the last one is Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. Calvin. It's a tie, ain't it? Brought it's a tie. Junior. Oh, it's a tie! It's a tie! That's all good, that's all good. I got this. Okay, so, okay. It looks like we have a tie, so we got to do a six-second Vine praising them, and they got to do a six-seven Vine praising us. Yeah. All right, okay. we'll go okay. first. We'll go first. Do it again. Huh? Six second vine? Yeah. yeah. I'm All right. right here. All right. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Go bold at Nikki Nick. We not flow. We so slick. That's the wall. I can't lie. Please listen to his new single cutie pie. Hey! Whoa, that, that was good. That was good. That was crazy. Why you got skills? <laughs> Your turn. Your turn. Right here and again. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. I love y'all. Yeah, awesome. You gotta praise us. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Oh, damn. We gotta praise you. You gotta praise us. We praise you. Thank you, Maury. Thank you for your call for having us on your show. <laughs> <laughs> you got the awesome. <laughs> I can't top you. I can't top you. That was too good. I can't top that. That's Lil Jon and the song, DJ Young Blade, for being such good sports. Cooking. And I think I'm pretty fabulous in the kitchen, and so does he. And we're always trying to outdo each other. But today... Today, we are finally putting our culinary skills to the test <laughs> by creating the perfect summer dish in our mystery meal challenge. Now it's time for Nicole to put her spatula where her mouth is. Right? <laughs> it's on and cracking. And we've invited a celebrity chef to judge our culinary skills. She's known as the rock star chef with an edge on her show, Bitchin' Kitchen. And she's the author of Cooking for Trouble. Please welcome Chef Nadia G. Hey, hello, hello. So, Nadia, what makes the perfect summer meal? Well, for the perfect summer meal, it all depends on one thing, mm. how drunk you are. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you've had a couple of drinks, you probably want something that's a deep fried, heavier, that'll coat your belly. If you're looking to look sexy in your bathing suit, then I guess you want something light. So it all kind of depends, depends on what you're in the mood for. Right. Well, where There's no are you such from? thing as a summer meal. Where are you from? Montreal. Montreal. Oh. Montreal. Oh, wow. C'est sûr que je parle français. Toi aussi. Pas problème. Je suis allemand, mais... Uh, can we keep going? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, do you have any tips before we get started? Tips. Well, here's the thing. When you're in a competition show for cooking, you yeah. need to stick with what you know. Stick this with is, it. Yeah, this is not the time to like start cooking up a duck à l'orange or something right. crazy. Ah, I was gonna do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so stick to what you know, and I wish you luck. I mean, you guys don't have much time. Okay, I know, but so that's why we're gonna ask two people from the audience to assist us. June, Brittany, will you come on down? June, Brittany, yeah. where are you? June and Brittany. Hey! hey. Give it up for June and Brittany. You're Brittany, you're gonna be with me. June, you're with Boris. Get over here, June. Yes. Get over here. Hello. Put your apron on. It's right All here. Right. Yes, I have a little apron for there you. There it is. Nice to meet you. Nadia, can you tell us the rules? 
Absolutely. So each team has four minutes to complete their mystery meal. Oh, boy. And you got to make a main course and the dessert. So that's not a long time, folks. The one with the I'm best so dish is going to win the Golden Utensil Award. Nice. You yeah. just scared right. me a little bit. All right. right, let's set the timer. And let's get cooking. Okay. Get, 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 get everything. Get everything. Push them away. Get away. Oh. Get the chicken. We need an onion, basil. Hey, basil four minutes going to go fast. Thing. You guys got to pick it up. Pick it up. The whole thing. Pick the whole thing. This thing. June. <laughs> we need to saute. So what's the idea here, ladies? What do we what do we have going on? Okay, well, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to get any I give them any clues because my husband tries to listen and cheat. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, I think he's got a lot on his plate right now, yeah. but it looks we're, like we're gonna do a looks like now here's one tip I got for you. You're really gonna wanna taste that jalapeno. I know, I um, like Because spicy. they vary, right? You yeah. can get a hot pepper that's not hot at all, and, and then you can yeah, get some that, so right. okay, yeah, we'll surprise that. you the next so day, not in a good way. You, 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 what's going on over here? That's good. What are you folks making? She is sauteing the, 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 uh, I mean glazing. The, the, this, well, this I'm going to tell you something. That's some big chunks of onion in yeah, three little... minutes. Come on, June. Uh, I would, I would kind of cut those a little smaller. I thought it would be hotter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. OK. Here we got spinach. Right. We got some oh, spinach. Put some spinach in there, too. OK, this yes. has to be smaller. All right. Come on, sous chef. My bad, my bad. Mmm, bacon. Yeah. All right, we That's got the gonna chocolate. Be delicious. I'm gonna make the dessert. Now, mine. While you, you chop, will also have to make a dessert. Chopping the broccoli. So you want to start thinking about that? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's okay. Yeah. To get the almonds. Okay. I'm so focused. I'm forgetting to talk. That's so, right. And this is a talk show. You have that's one perfect. minute and forty that's seconds perfect. left. Come on. I know Throw how it to. In there. I know how to Throw cook the chicken under in pressure. You want to know why? Throw because when you got two kids and a hungry man, you got to figure out how to do that fast. Don't lose no pasta, girl. <laughs> Garlic, okay. garlic, June, She's garlic. A good chef. For I God's sake. Garlic. I got it. Uh, I got it. This. Okay. I'm making Ooh. a special Kojo I need a dessert chocolate plate. dessert. That's all right. With whipped cream. I'm just gonna scoop and, it right back on it. Yeah, these and, uh, onions are really not fried. <laughs> June. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get, we'll get a bit of crunch going on in there, that's for sure. Come on, June. Yeah. You can do it, June. <laughs> you can do it, June. Yes, texture, she says. Mm. A little I chocolate. Love my texture. Some basil, maybe, right? A little whipped cream around this. Put a little there you go. Oreo Look at how beautiful crumble. this looks. <laughs> this right. is a, a chocolate. Do you have a name for this dish? This is a chocolate yeah. souffle. It could be. Uh, whipped cream cake. I'll tell you. Put it in a bowl. <laughs> with, uh, Get it in a bowl. Yeah. So what are you making over here? Just That's good. Simple and delicious, where you okay. can't go wrong. I have little kids, so I cheese know how grater. to do this. <laughs> cheese grater. Where's the cheese grater? Oh, you put some bacon. There's a cheese grater right here. Have you thought of, have you thought of a fancy name yes. for this I think we're dish? Done. Yeah, this dish is called the uh, the improv. Oh. This is perfect. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Let's okay. see what each team has created. Okay. Force okay. and okay. in June? Yes, we're, we're ready. We're ready. We're Ladies, what have we got here? Oh, we'll go first. Okay. Yes. I love the fact that you brought us some rotini pasta. Can't mm -hmm. go wrong, right? So we, it was already cooked, but we sh made it shiny and smooth and sauteed some garlic and with some olive oil. You made it shiny. Yes, because sometimes <laughs> pasta can be dull. It's true, yes, it's true. Shiny I'm, pasta is better than dull pasta. Right. That I, I agree okay. with 100%. You told me presentation. Yeah. Mm-hmm, okay. exactly. No, this actually looks really good. Let me taste it. Oh, boy. You better watch out. Okay. Gotta get a little bit of everything. That's right, a little bit of everything. And I just everything. crumbled the bacon, I just, because they were good and crispy. All right, that's a nice looking uh, right. forkful. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is delicious. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good, simple pasta. 
The bacon adds a ton of flavor. I mean, when in doubt, add bacon. It's a little bit of sauciness, Honestly. right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where's Very nice. Juice? Where's the bacon? So, juice? what did they do over there in their pasta? The well, bacon. let's take a look over here. Let's see what the flavor is like in this. Oh. Well, the flavor is sometimes is overrated. So. <laughs> It's really just about, it's about the thought that goes into it and, uh, and the love and the heart. Exactly, June. You're right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this, gonna put a love and this family spinach on leaf here. Exactly. I don't know if you want to eat this. Uh, it's very... <laughs> Are you okay? Can you take a commercial break so I can keep chewing? Oh, what? Nadia, you're killing me over here. Come on. It, it, it's a chocolate cake with uh, whipped cream and <laughs> almonds and some inside marmalade jelly. Uh, here, here. jelly. Yeah. Let's whipped get cream and jelly. <laughs> whipped cream and jelly. I still haven't. It was so what are dry. you commenting on I my stuff? Been swallowed. Huh? Oh, yeah, good. I like this. Right, yeah. Right. Hey, yeah. 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 Thank you. No, no. There you go. She can't stop. Uh, very so, good. Very uh, good. I I only put a little dollop of chocolate under the whipped cream. Mm. Dollop? What is dollop? Don't Dollop's you, a great word. Don't you worry. Don't and that. then you sprinkle the Oreo. I used half an Oreo. Half an Oreo. See, I like this. This is good presentation. This is good that presentation. Is, that is brown nosery. That's what that is. Mm. Look at that. See, the Oreo adds a little bit of crunch, which is nice. Crunch? Are you mm -hmm. serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. And the strawberry, that's always good with a bit of chocolate. <laughs> This ain't nothing. <laughs> well, for the best taste, and now, what, what do we got here? All right. For the best taste and overall presentation, the winner is... You ladies! Special thanks to Chef Nadia G for helping us out today. There you go. Great teammate, it's June and Brittany. Black. And for you, boys, second place. to go on the boris and nicole show stay tuned tune in now thank you welcome back the one thing most people don't know about our next guest is that he's actually a singer rapper and his first single love is dropping this summer see most people know him as the vulnerable and troubled bunchy on showtime's ray donovan Take a look. I ran your credit card three times. It's no good. Look, our last promoter didn't pay us. We don't even have a venue right now. Work with us. You gotta pay the train. Oh, come on, man. Sorry. Please help us welcome my man with the coolest name in Hollywood, Dash My Hawk. Woo! How you doing, Dash? Oh, just so uh, I come out and shoot the breeze a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, see? You and I, we understand each other. You know, just saying. <laughs> see, uh, Dash, I got to tell you, my wife has this thing about uh, people's dialects and accents. Mm -hmm. So when she talks to somebody with a certain dialect, he, she immediately takes on that <laughs> accent or that dialect. Like, uh, instantaneously. In it's, taxis it's, and it's everywhere. Hard. I do it, too. Whenever I go back to New York, I get more New York. Whenever I'm... It, in, in, the the, in the south, you start getting the southern twang. I, I do it too. I'm, I'm, I'm unbelievable I right here. But you're also a rapper. This is. I'm like... a rapper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you know. Did you meet Lil John? Right I didn't meet Lil John. Are you I, was, serious? I know. I know. Oh. I, I was in my room, I guess, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't get my my. My pose with him. I also didn't bring my grill or anything to him. <laughs> See, yeah, he's got a grill. But other than that, 
he looks like a like some dude from a country club. I mean, yeah, he's got he, the he, pink he, he polo was, shirt on. He was rocking the he was the rocking the Hamptons. Hair. He's yeah, got for sure. Yeah, I know the Hamptons. How do you get? How did you get into rapping? Um, you know, when I was 12 years old, I had I had that's like a long time ago. Um, I had this rap group, Sam Dash Chris, strictly devastating crew in junior high school, and I. Okay, saw, okay, well, hold on. Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? Sam Dash Chris, those are the three members. Strictly devastating crew. <laughs> now in the 80s, that was hot. <laughs> I'm telling you. I bet. SDC. SDC. SDC wow. um, like I've, I've always, uh, I've always flirted with it, and I've been writing songs for so many well, years, and well, people have been at me like, yo, you need to put it out and do this Absolutely. Now. Well, let's see how far you've come with SDC. We have a clip of your new single that's coming out this summer. Take a look. Single coming out yeah, too. Valeria yeah, Mason, Valeria yeah. Mason uh, uh, has uh, an album out on iTunes. Go check it. It's check it uh, it's Latin. She's Latin. I gotta admit, I'm obsessed with your show. Yes, Ray Donovan. Woo! Anybody watch the show? I mean, yes. it's, it's the most incredible show. Yes. And your character Bunchy is off the chain. He's a mess. He, what yeah. did you have to do to get into that character? Drink a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mainly when I'm acting my personal way, I, I just really, it's make-believe, you know? So I, I, I do as much research as I can, and then I just imagine what it would, what it would be like to be struggling with, you know, those not issues. trying to drink and those issues, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, changing gears a little bit, okay. you are a, a, a supporter of um, Tourette's Syndrome Association. I am. You were diagnosed at age six. I was. And you uh, have lived with it, and you work through it every day. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, it's funny. My, I love going being in front of these kind of shows because there's all this light on you. One of my ticks is I have to look at the light and like do this twitch thing. So I don't know. I'm in the wrong business, people. <laughs> it's terrible. I'm no, in the wrong. There's lights everywhere every that's day. That's amazing. But, but is there a dialogue that goes on in your head? There is, um, you know, I was diagnosed in, uh, as I was, I was a kid, and and it's unfortunately it's a lot worse when you're when you're a kid. It usually subsides a little bit more as an adult. But the great thing about acting is I get to um, when my when my mind and body and spirit are are all focused on portraying that character. I don't tick. I always say I can make a movie, but it's hard to watch one. Because when I'm sitting here at rest, that's when the ticks come on. But when I'm in the middle of stuff, that's when I, that, that's when I don't tick. So what would you tell uh, a young kid that is struggling with Tourette's um, in terms of achieving their goals or if maybe even become an actor? I would say um, tell people. Tell people, alleviate the stress of, of having people not know what's going on with you. Uh, the more they know, the more they'll accept you. And know that you have a gift, too. You know, with Tourette's, it stretches you in a lot of different ways. It, it makes you use muscles that, 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 that other people that don't have it might not, might not be able to, to, to train. Yeah. So there's a gift in there somewhere. Remember that you, we all have a gift, and, and it's in there. Just love yourself. You just helped Thank a lot you. of people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dash My Hawk, for stopping by today. Be sure to catch him on Ray Donovan Sunday Night Show Showtime. For more information on Tourette's Syndrome, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Because we've been married for 10 years, a lot of people ask us for relationship advice. And we love helping whenever we can. So we received so many questions from you on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So we're here to answer some of your questions. It's time for Hey, hey Bacall. <laughs> Our first question is from Megan in Ohio, who's joining us via Skype. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Hey, Bacall. Hi, what's your question? Hi, so my name is Megan, of course, and my husband and I just recently moved from Mount Juliet, Tennessee to Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. We have four beautiful children, a 10-year-old, four-year-old, and a set of twins that are two. Yeah. And I, we have no family, no friends up here, so we essentially, we get no downtime 
You have no babysitter. Yeah. So I'm just looking for some tips on how to keep um, our relationship fun and kind of spicy because we get no downtime from the kiddos. Where are I the like kids that she right said downtime. She's not getting any right downtime. Now? Where'd you put the kids? You're, uh, you're sitting there by yourself. My, no, they're with my 10-year-old in the other room. I, I had to bribe them. The 10-year-old <laughs> is watching the other three? But in, just in the other room, though. Do you smell smoke? <laughs> Because if they're too quiet, you know what that means, right? I can candy. They have candy. They're good. Oh, good. They're Candy's good. good. She candy. needs help with her husband. Oh, wow. Okay, right, so right, right. what I'm thinking here, Megan, is that uh, you and your husband just need to face the music, which is you got four kids under 10, which is insanity. <laughs> and I applaud you. You should. She should get an Emmy nomination. Yes. At least. Okay? So in, in that case, when you don't have any help at all, you have to make use of the time after their sleep. When they go to sleep, that's when your date starts. Whether it's just a blanket on the floor, in, in your bedroom, with some wine and cookies and whatever, or whether that's it's just really a TV good. date. Yeah, you gotta be resourceful. You never did this with me. Well, because we had a babysitter. Oh. <laughs> we were lucky, we had a babysitter. So just make use of that time, because when you have four kids without any help, it, it's, it's crazy but you have to make time for your husband, somehow. But I like the whole, everybody go in the other room, give him some candy, I wouldn't recommend this in any other situation, turn on all the TVs, go in your bedroom and lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Look, we don't have all the answers, but it's good to talk about it. Yes. So Keep those questions coming, please. Go to twitter.com backslash Boris and Nicole with the hashtag, <laughs> hey, hey Nicole. Can well, the audience say that? Hey, hey Nicole. Be right back. <laughs>
you, ladies! Special thanks to Chef Nadia G for helping us out today. There you go. Great teammates, you and Brittany. Black. And for you, boys, second place. Yeah, but good job. Bitchin' Kitchen on the Cooking Channel! to go on the Boris and Nicole show. Stay tuned. Tune in now. Thank you. Welcome back. The one thing most people don't know about our next guest is that he's actually a singer rapper and his first single, Love, is dropping this summer. See, most people know him as the vulnerable and troubled Bunchy on Showtime's Ray Donovan. Take a look. I ran your credit card three times. It's no good. Look, our last promoter didn't pay us. We don't even have a venue right now. Work with us. You gotta pay the train. Oh, come on, man. Sorry. Please help us welcome my man with the coolest name in Hollywood, Dash My Hawk. Woo! Hilarious. Hello there. How you doing, Dash? Oh, I was 11, so I was just like, oh, okay, okay let's do it. And so, it so wasn't yeah. a party, it was an award show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me set the record straight. Well, yeah. It was a skateboarding award show for uh, Trans World Skateboarding, and mm -hmm. afterwards they had like a little party in the back. Okay. So we went to the award yeah. show, and then. It was appropriate for you to yes. bring your kids. Yes. Yes. It wasn't we a damn that. nightclub. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm a good dad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, you're, you're behind the party anthem, Turn Down for What? Yeah, I heard you. I heard Give it you. up. <laughs> yep, you heard me. But what, what I want to know, we, we talk, on this show, we talk a lot about perception and, and, right. and judging and, and discriminating based on first impressions and stuff. So right. we have a hip hop superstar like you. Right. Okay. Who people perceive as a certain way. And you're out here with your son. And your son looks more like an Abercrombie and Fitch model <laughs> than, than... He actually you know used to I mean? model. There you go. Yes, okay, right. see, there you go. So, so what, what, are some of the, what are some of the perceptions you both get uh, from people, and how do you deal with it uh, uh, and maybe, you know, combat it? Or, or... Number one perception people have of me is that I'm always screaming! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> like this guy over here, he's screaming at yeah. me. This guy is screaming. I'm not always screaming, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay to say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, yeah. So people just yell at you to come All up All the time. <laughs> you look like in Target, just and trying to buy some we could be, Yeah, I could be in the stall in the bathroom <laughs> and somewhere, and they go, yeah! I'm like, Can I use the bathroom in peace, brother? You, so what you're, about you? You're a little oh John now. What, are you, what about you? I just get that I'm pretty chill. Yeah, I'm gonna get the opposite. I don't know how people can get that from you. That's so weird. But you're Jonathan Smith at home. Yes. Yes, so there's no screaming and... No. Just some regular dad stuff. I just want to lay on the couch. Like, when I... Hey. When I come hey, up... Hey, brother. Oh. Hey, can't we just please just lay on the couch? Yeah, sometimes when the family's not home, I just yes. sleep on the couch. I don't oh. even go to the bedroom. I it's just stay heaven. on the couch. Oh, my God. So, so... Uh, DJ Young Slade. Um... You becoming a DJ, uh, uh, how do you avoid the pitfalls of the, you know, the party, party scene, scene and, and Hollywood? And, and the music industry. How do you stay focused? Because there's a lot of distractions out there. Yeah, just my parents just keeping me grounded, making sure I'm always staying in the right places, just keeping me um, being strict. Oh. There you go. So, 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 yeah, so you, you, you're not the party dad, you're the strict dad. Uh, well, uh, you don't yeah, play. I guess. I'm try, I try to be harder on him because I, as a producer and just the way I, I came up, I worked extra hard. So he's like naturally gifted. He's naturally talented. He started DJing. Watch out. 
Okay. Got to get a little bit of everything. That's right, a little and, bit. And I just everything. crumbled the bacon. I just because they were good and crispy. All right, that's a nice looking uh, right. forkful. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is delicious. <laughs> yeah. Good, simple pasta. The bacon adds a ton of flavor. I mean, when in doubt, add bacon. It's a little bit of saltiness, right? Honestly, mm -hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very nice. Juice? Where's the bacon so juice? What did they do over there in their pasta? The well, bacon. let's take a look over here. Let's see what the flavor is like in this. Oh, well, the flavor is sometimes is overrated. So <laughs> it's really just about, it's about the thought that goes into it and, uh, and the love and the heart. Exactly, June, you're right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. You're gonna put a love and family on that. This spinach leaf here, exactly. I don't know if you want to eat this. Uh, it's very. <laughs> Are you okay? Can you take a commercial break so I can keep chewing? Oh, what? Nadia, you're killing me over here. Come on. Come on. It's a chocolate cake with uh, whipped cream and <laughs> almonds and some inside marmalade jelly. Uh, here, here. jelly. Yeah. Let's whipped get cream it all and the jelly. <laughs> whipped cream and jelly. I still haven't. It was so dry. What are you dry. commenting on I my stuff? I should have been swallowed. Huh? Oh, this is good. I like this. Right, yeah. Right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. No, no. There you go. She can't stop. I, very good. Very I, good. I Kid. I only put a little dollop of chocolate under the whipped cream. Oh, dollop? What is dollop? Dollop's you, a great word. Don't you worry. I don't know and then I you mean. sprinkle the Oreo. I used half an Oreo. Half an Oreo. See, I like this. This is good presentation. This is good that presentation. Is, that is brown nosery. That's what that is. Mm. Look at that. See, the Oreo adds a little bit of crunch, which is nice. Crunch? Are you mm -hmm. serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. And the strawberry, that's always good with a bit of chocolate. <laughs> This ain't nothing. <laughs> well, for the best taste, and no, what, what do we got here? All right. For the best taste and overall presentation, the winner is... You ladies! Special thanks to Chef Nadia G for helping us out today. There you That's go. Great teammate, the Judah stunning black. And for you, boys, second place. Before we were married. Was there any situation where you were in the dating scene, hanging out with girls? I'm sure you were like it happens out with all Patrick. The time. Okay, I'll give you one. I'll give you one example. I was in Miami, my brother and myself, and it was before we were married. <laughs> I already don't like this my this story. We met a group of ladies. They were sitting around a table having dinner. Coincidentally, we walked in that place. You didn't set this date no, up. No, it wasn't set up. It was it was six ladies, and my brother knew two of them. Okay. So we walked in a restaurant. And my brother goes, "Hey, look at that. Hey, what's up?" And we went over there, and, did and you we sit sat down. down we Did you pull up chairs down. to the no, table? No, no. We sat down on the next table, turned our chairs around so we were closer to them, and we were just chatting away. Drinking water. Order, no. I didn't order anything. Your brother did not order a Coke. My, we already, we had already eaten. Because, okay. So we went there, we sat down, had our water. 20 minutes later, we get up to leave, and one of the ladies gets up from the table, chases after us, and goes to me, um, we were thinking that maybe you could take care of the bill. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, are you okay. serious? No, That's what you the, get for hanging out with hoochies. That's what you get. <laughs> All right. You know, love isn't always easy. So much so that a study found that most people only say I love you in a romantic way to only three people in their lives. Three people? Yeah. Oh, wow. How many people have you said I love you to? Uh, <laughs> Uh, just you. <laughs> no, but look, you women women have their own way of counting past lovers. 
with like temporary amnesia. You know, you make your own rules. Well, I don't some have stuff doesn't count. He doesn't count. He doesn't count. That one. Well, he really didn't do it. Well, he didn't really take his clothes off. Well, that. Uh, the, the, okay, you you have told me about a few people, but then you left out a lot. Like we went to New York. Okay, we went to oh New York one time. Went to a club at night, and uh, the doorman opens the velvet rope, spots my wife, and goes. Ooh, hey, Nikki Love. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. Nikki Love? What is that, Nikki Love? And then she, this one over here goes, hey, that's just a guy from, you know, from way back. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so I don't even, I don't even want to hear no, how many people. There was a study here. There was a study somewhere. Okay. It said that men are more likely to stay in touch with the former exers and women are less likely. You're, wait, let me get it right. There's a study here that says men are more likely to stay in touch with former partners than <clears throat> women. Right? And we're not likely to speak to our exes. You did us wrong, boom, bye. Right? Bye, Felicia. No, bye, Fernando. On <laughs> <laughs> how's life? And I was like... This is how she sounded? Yes. <laughs> Via text. And I picked up the phone and I said, I'm great. <laughs> I'm here with the whole family. If you want to get together, Nicole and I and the kids would love to meet you for lunch. She really did. I really did. Yeah. Love Boris. True story. Yeah. And then she told me like weeks later. <laughs> Texted back. No, never again. Never it was again. like six years See, ago. Ladies, I handled it, right? Sorry. That's, yeah, I handled it. We have to take a break. When we come back, we'll turn it up with Little John! What's up, it's your boy Lil John. This is my son, Young Slave. We're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. Yeah! The Grammy Award winning hip hop superstar and proof that you can have a hard edge in the industry while remaining a great dad. He's here today with his record spinning son who's following in his footsteps. Please help me welcome Little John and his son, DJ Young Slave! Yeah! stuff right here, okay? Yes. To see a father and son share such a powerful medium like music together. I just, I'm really honored that you guys came here together Thank today. you, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, DJ Young Slade, do you remember the moment that you wanted to do this? Yeah. Um, my mom was sick and my dad, um, he just it was like, hey, come to this party with me that I'm DJing tonight. And so I think I was 11, so I was just like, oh, okay, okay let's do it. And so, it yeah. wasn't a party, it was an award show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me set the record straight. Oh yeah. It was a skateboarding award show for uh, Trans World Skateboarding, and mm -hmm. afterwards they had like a little party in the back. Okay. So we went to the award yeah. show, and then. It was appropriate for you to yes. bring your kids. Yes. Yes. It wasn't we a damn this. nightclub. <laughs> I'm a good dad. <laughs> Speaking of good dad, that, 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 that's hilarious. That... Okay, Queen Latifah, AKA Dana. Dana Elaine Owens. We got that right. <gasps> oh, Amber, oh, Amherst. Yeah. Okay. I was <laughs> rushing, man. Hey, <laughs> Okay. Next, Wiz Khalifa is Cameron Jabril. Jabril. So you Thomas? Got that wrong. Yeah, so we, we, got, we got that wrong. Yeah. What about you? You have that right? We got that right. Got we got that. Okay, then we got uh, Iggy Azalea is. Amethyst Kelly, we got that. Amethyst Kelly, we got that right. So we got that wrong. Oh, we got that wrong. Dana. Okay, 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 okay. And the last one is Snoop Dogg, aka Calvin. It's a tie, ain't it? Broader Jr. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. 
Okay. So, okay. It looks like we have a tie, so we gotta do a six second vine praising them, and they gotta do a six seven vine praising us. Yeah. All right, okay. we'll go first. We'll go first. I got this. Say it again. Huh? Six second vine? Yeah. yeah. I'm All right. right here. All right. You ready? <laughs> go bold at Nikki Nick. We not flow. We so slick. That's the wall. I can't lie. Please listen to his new single, Cutie Pie. Hey! Oh, wow. That was good. That was good. That was crazy. Why you got skills? <laughs> Your turn. Your turn. Right here and again. Bye. Yes, sir. Your turn. I love y'all. Awesome. You got to praise us. Oh. Oh, all right. Oh, damn. We got to praise you. You got to praise us. We praise you. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you for your call, for having us on your show. <laughs> you got the awesome. <laughs> DJ Young Blade for being such good sports. And I think I'm pretty fabulous in the kitchen, and so does he. And we're always trying to outdo each other. But today... Today, we are finally putting our culinary skills to the test <laughs> by creating the perfect summer dish in our mystery meal challenge. Now it's time for Nicole to put her spatula where her mouth is. All right? <laughs> it's on and cracking. And we've invited a celebrity chef to judge our culinary skills. She's known as the rock star chef with an edge on her show, Bitchin' Kitchen. And she's the author of Cooking for Trouble. Please welcome Chef Nadia G. Hey! stuff right here okay yes to see a father and son share such a powerful medium like music together I just I'm really honored that you guys came here together thank today. you thank you guys thank you. Yeah. Yeah. so DJ Young Slade do you remember the moment that you wanted to do this yeah um, my mom was sick and my dad um, he just it was like hey come to this party with me I'm DJing tonight and so I think I was 11, so I was just like, oh, okay, okay let's do it. And so, it so wasn't yeah. a party, it was an award show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me set the record straight. Yeah. Yeah. It was a skateboarding award show for uh, Trans World Skateboarding, and mm -hmm. afterwards they had like a little party in the back. Okay. So we went to the award yeah. show, and then. It was the, appropriate for you to yeah. bring your kids. Yeah. Yes, so it wasn't we a know damn this. nightclub. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm a good dad. <laughs> Hilarious. Now, you're, you're behind the party anthem, Turn Down for What? Yeah, yeah. I heard you. I heard Give it you. up. <laughs> yep, you heard me. But what, what I want to know, we, we talk, on this show, we talk a lot about perception and, and, right. and judging and, and discriminating based on first impressions and stuff. So right. we have a hip-hop superstar like you. Right. Okay. Who people perceive as a certain way. And you're out here with your son. And your son looks more like an Abercrombie and Fitch model <laughs> than, than he actually you know used to I mean? model. There you go. Yes, okay, right. see, there you go. So, so what, what are some of the what are some of the perceptions you both get uh, from people, and how do you deal with it, uh, uh, and maybe you know combat it? Or number one perception people have of me is that I'm always screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this guy over here, he's screaming at yeah. me. This guy is screaming. I'm not always screaming, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay to say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, yeah. So people just yell at you to come All up All the time. <laughs> you look like in Target, just and trying to buy some we could be, Yeah, I could be in the stall in the bathroom <laughs> and somewhere, and they go, yeah! Like, Can I use the bathroom in peace, brother? You, so what about you? You're a little oh John now. What, yeah, what about you? I just get that I'm pretty chill, 
yeah, I'm, I get the opposite. I don't know how people can get that from you. That's so weird. But you're Jonathan Smith at home. Yes. Yes, so there's no screaming and no. just some regular dad stuff. I just want to lay on the couch. Like, I pay the train. Come on, man. Sorry. Please help us welcome my man with the coolest name in Hollywood, Dash My Hawk. Woo! How you doing, Dash? Oh, just so uh, I come out and shoot the breeze a little bit. Ah, see? Oh, see? You yeah. and I, we understand each other. You know, just saying. See, uh, Dash, I got to tell you, my wife has this thing about uh, people's dialects and accents. Mm -hmm. So when she talks to somebody with a certain dialect, he, she immediately takes on that <laughs> accent or that dialect. Like, it, instantaneously. In it's, taxis it's, and it's everywhere. Hard. I do it, too. Whenever I go back to New York, I get more New York. Whenever I'm... It, in, in, the, the, in the south, you start getting the southern twang. I, I do it too. I'm, I'm, I'm unbelievable I right here. But you're also a rapper. This is. I'm like... a rapper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you know. Did you meet Lil John? I didn't meet Lil John. Are you I, was, serious? I know. I know. Oh. I, I was in my room, I guess, and I didn't. Uh, I didn't get my 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 pose with him. I also didn't bring my grill or anything to him. <laughs> See, yeah, he's got a grill. But other than that. He looks like a like some dude from a country club. I mean, yeah, he's got he, the pink he, he polo was, shirt on. He was rocking the he was the rocking the Hamptons. Hair. He's yeah, got for sure. Yeah, I know the Hamptons. How do you get? How did you get into rapping? Um, you know, when I was 12 years old, I had I had that's like a long time ago. Um, I had this rap group, Sam Dash Chris, strictly devastating crew in junior high school, and I. Okay, so, okay, hold on. Yeah. Can you repeat that, please? Sam Dash Chris. Those are the three members. Strictly devastating crew. <laughs> now in the 80s, that was hot. <laughs> I'm telling you. SDC. I bet. SDC. SDC wow. um, look, I've, I've always uh, I've always flirted with it and I've been writing songs for so many well, years and well, people have been at me like, yo, you need to put it out and do this. Absolutely. Now. Well let's see how far you've come with SDC. We have a clip of your new single that's coming out this summer. Take a look. Coming out yeah, too? Valeria yeah, Mason, Valeria yeah. Mason uh, uh, has uh, an album out on iTunes. Go check it. Check it's it uh, it's Latin. She's Latin. I gotta admit, I'm obsessed with your show. Yes, Ray Donovan. Woo! Anybody watch the show? I mean, yes. it's, it's the most incredible show. Yes. And your character, Bunchy, is off the chain. He's a mess. He, what yeah. did you have to do to get into that character? This is perfect. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Let's okay. see what each team has created. Okay. okay. Boris, okay. And, Boris and June? Yes, we're, we're ready. We're, we're ready. We're... Ladies, what have we got here? Oh, we'll go first. Okay. Yeah. I love the fact that you brought us some rotini pasta. Can't mm -hmm. go wrong, right? So we, it was already cooked, but we sh made it shiny and smooth and sauteed some garlic and with some olive oil. You made it shiny. Yes, because sometimes <laughs> pasta can be dull. It's true, yes, it's true. Shiny I'm, pasta is better than dull pasta. Right. That I, I agree Thank with you 100%. You told me presentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. No, this actually looks really good. Let me taste it. Oh, boy. You better watch out. Okay. Gotta get a little Let bit of everything. That's right, a little bit And I just everything. crumbled the bacon, I just, because they were good and crispy. All right, that's a nice looking uh, right. forkful. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is delicious. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good, simple pasta. The bacon adds a ton of flavor. I mean, when in doubt, add bacon. It's a little bit of saltiness, right? Honestly, mm -hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very nice. Juice? Where's the bacon so juice? what did they do over there in their pasta? Well, the let's take a look over here. Let's see what the flavor is like in this. Oh, well, the flavor is sometimes is overrated. So <laughs> it's really just about, it's about the thought that goes into it and, uh, and the love and the heart. Exactly, June, you're right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. You're gonna put a love and family on that? spinach leaf here, exactly. I don't know if you wanna eat the, uh, it's very, 
Are you okay? Can you take a commercial break so I can see Troy? What? Nadia, you're killing me over here. Come on. It's going to take time to treat it. It, it, it's a chocolate cake with uh, uh, whipped cream and <laughs> almonds and some inside marmalade jelly. Uh, Here. Here. jelly. Yeah. Let's whipped get cream it and jelly. <laughs> whipped cream and jelly. I still haven't. It was so dry. you dried. commenting on I my stuff? I got you this Huh? Oh, this is good. I like this. Right, yeah. Right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. No, no. There you go. She can't stop. I, very no, good. Very I good. Always Kid. I only put a little dollop of chocolate under the whipped cream. Oh. Dollop? What is dollop? I, Dollop's you, a great word. Don't you worry. Don't and that. then you sprinkle the Oreo. I used half an Oreo. Half an Oreo. See, I like this. This is good presentation. This is good that presentation. Is, that is brown nosery. That's what that is. Mm. Look at that. See, the Oreo adds a little bit of crunch, which is nice. Crunch? Are you mm -hmm. serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm serious. And the strawberry, that's always good with a bit of chocolate. <laughs> but you know, my, my, my good buddy Will Forte was nominated as well for um, Best Last. Comedic Actor in, uh, for uh, Last Man on Earth. Which my husband is also a co-star. That's right. You play a bad boy in that. With, well. with, and all the girls love you. They, they're, you know, they say that women are biologically drawn to the bad boy. Why is that? Um, the maybe, strongest sperm? Is that it? I, you know, you're, you know, you're laughing. But you know, I think that's true. Like it's the alpha male. Like yeah. this is the guy yeah. that's gonna m protect me and the kids. I will protect you. <laughs> you know, but it's interesting. It's like we don't want the bad guy in the relationship, though, right? We might want him in the bedroom. You guys are hypocrites, <laughs> ladies. I think I found a nice combination. Of a bad boy and a good boy? Yeah. How am I good and how am I bad? You're good because you're good. You're a good person. And I'll take that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, your heart is good. Mm -hmm. You're bad mm. and your your bad is good too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's dangerous. I like it. From the male point of view, why are men attract women attracted to the, the broken guy, the damaged guy? Because the they want to fix us. You guys want to fix you like projects. We like projects. All right? Mm. Hmm, who am I gonna fix today? <laughs> you just like projects. We like to rescue. Yeah. Yeah, and, and save. We do. Yeah, it's and, the and maternal then, you know, instinct. And we give in. We say, hey, okay. <laughs> and we just lean back. And that's it. <laughs> hey Jackie, wanna shoot the breeze? Ah! Well, you know, the key is to recognize the bad traits and then, you know. Phase and, them out? <laughs> what? No, I think we, we have to decide, we have to avoid them. You know, weigh your options. You know, you have to project into the future and say, is this somebody I want to leave my kids alone with? I, I believe, I believe that. <laughs> right? Think about how like, that changes hmm. things. You're out on a date and you're like, could I go to work and leave the kids home? <laughs> With, with the, the bad boy. With the daddy. With this is their daddy? No. The bad baby daddy. Yes. It's just the way we are. I mean, women have projects, and, and men just don't understand. And that's not the only thing men don't understand. Oh, really? Yeah, there are things that only women understand that men don't. Like what? When we, when we worry that if you let the guy pay, he'll, you know, expect something in return. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Yeah. You guys never go through that. What? Okay, so, all right. What I don't like about this is the sense of entitlement. Because for a guy, there's nothing worse when you go to the restaurant and the woman automatically expects you to pay. I don't see what's wrong and, with and that. And I don't even want nothing from okay, you. Okay, you got three guys on your side.